Hi everyone. So, um, you might notice I'm wearing the same clothes as I was last time because I'm filming this, I guess, yesterday from when anybody will be watching this. That's weird. Oh my god, I'm talking to you in the future. Anyway, <laughs> I really need help. Um, okay, the camera just went crazy. <laughs> um, now that we've covered, it's doing it again, stop. Um, now that we've covered possessed cameras and, um, you know, the future. Um, so I have a bunch of poems that I've written for my favorite class right now, actually. It's called Poetry and Performance. It's with uh, my professor, Willie Perdomo. He's incredible and we have so much fun in the class. Um, so that's part of why I wanted to start filming these videos is, anyway, <laughs> is uh, because I'm not really a performance poet. Um, my poems live very much on the page, so I'm trying to teach myself how to better deliver them. Um, what makes them work on the page may not make it work, you know, orally, so I have to try and figure that out um, because it's the fastest growing or probably the only growing sector of poetry right now. Um, and though I'm working on my novel, we can't all depend on being, um, you know, JK Rowling. So I gotta see what I can do, uh, definitely explore every area. So um, this is actually a poem I wrote a couple of weeks ago uh, for class. Um, it's called People I Don't Trust. Now I have a whole bunch of poems here um, I'm probably not going to record them all today. I might record, like, two, um, just because this weekend's going to be really busy for me. But um, before I start that, I just want you guys to know uh, that this poem has... Um, I wrote it before everything that happened this past weekend. Um, so I guess maybe it makes me look like a bad person. Maybe it makes me look like somebody who knew what was going on. Um, I guess you'll have to just jump to your own conclusions with that. There's nothing I can really say in my own defense. Um, anyway, that's is People I Don't Trust. Poets. Smooth talkers. Men. Men who mouth their words slowly, who smoke them like Cuban cigars. My father, who lies like it's easy, like it's feather down quilts on Sunday morning before church. Paul Gilliland, my kindergarten boyfriend, who kissed Julie Carpenter behind the quaint log cabin on the playground. The boy who broke my heart in seventh grade, then again my freshman year of college. The boy who broke my heart in tenth and eleventh and twelfth grade. The boy whose heart I broke this year. The boy who will love me for real someday. Mitt Romney. Men who walk too fast, who bring their wrists to their eyes and fog up Rolex watch faces. Little boys who lisp and breathe breaths tinged with strawberry jam. Teenagers who open the door for me. Jerks who tell me I'm condescending and rude and never, ever to change. Smooth talkers. Coffee drinkers. And poets. The ones who read loud enough for others to hear them. Um, so yeah, there's that. I hope I didn't offend anybody. Eh, guess that's poetry. Anyway.